This is Artifacts of Mars. And we're going to continue on our Intelligent Design seri series with the Oxygen Conundrum. So, imagine the early Earth. We have almost all nitrogen, some trace gases, some carbon dioxide, but no oxygen. Nothing to make it. So how did we get up to 20% or so oxygen and make it? Well, according to this article from dailytech.com, so you can consider the source, uh, it came from mag manganese oxygenation and some uh, Water oxidizing or water splitting photosynthesis was invented by cyanobacteria approximately 2.4 billion years ago. I didn't know that cyanobacteria were that intelligent, but apparently they are. And then, system. And plants are just a group of algae that took photosynthesis on land, so we think this finding we're looking at the inception of molecular machinery that will give rise to oxygen. Oh boy. Well, uh, this is fantasy. Uh, let me explain snaring here. You have the early earth. No life on land, just in the oceans. According to these people, well, not even in the oceans. According to these people, what happened was these species just came into existence after uh, coming from a cell that just suddenly came alive and then they invented photosynthesis all on their own. Gee, uh, I'd say it's a little too complex for that. And then they commenced to grow. And then, of course, it became uh, cyanobacteria, with, and incredibly, it says the algae borrowed from cyanobacteria. How the hell would algae do that? What are they doing? They have little labs? Uh, here, give me a cup of sugar. It's absurd. But there's another problem. Imagine the early Earth, no oxygen. These little beasties in the uh, ocean, they really can't survive without oxygen. That's the point that they're not mentioning. So all plants use oxygen. It's a myth that they don't. They use it at night when there isn't any light. And of course, uh, completely ignores the uh, decomposers such as uh, mushrooms or fungi. Those use oxygen. They don't give. They don't give it off. It's ridiculous. Anyway, there's no oxygen on the planet. Mostly just nitrogen. And life is trying to emerge in the oceans. That's the uh, fantasy. But we got a problem. The problem is that without any oxygen, you don't have an ozone layer. What is ozone? It's two oxygen atoms bound together loosely with a third one. And it is poisonous, but it's way above us. So there's no ozone layer to block this off. Are you getting this? To block out uh, ultraviolet rays. So the Earth didn't have any protective ozone layer. At least according to uh, this, because I mean, there wasn't any oxygen. 
Talking to the foreman knows them later. Well, well. So we got ourselves a problem. So the early Earth is bombarded with intense amounts of ultraviolet radiation. And this is never mentioned, of course, that the early Earth was uh, bombarded by this. But we have yet another problem. See, when the sun is young, like with ours, it tends to be on the blue side of the spectrum. They go from red giants and they shrink down, they become blue dwarfs. When they're young, they're smaller, hotter suns in their blue spectrum, which means the ultraviolet will be much more intense. Evolution has never mon mentioned this. Our sun today is a medium-age star, and it's a yellow star. Back then, more than likely, it would have been a blue sun. So, these poor little beasties, not only don't they have any oxygen to use, but they have to put, down, put up with this sun, which is baking them alive. But somehow they just magically come into existence and survive all this and start producing oxygen until we got up, get up to where we are today, which is 20%. Well, well. To me, it uh, makes more sense that this planet was artificially created somehow and the oxygen was put on it uh, and seeded so that the Earth would be able to support life. Well, these uh, dimwits keep coming up with all these stories which make no sense. Now, as for who did it, I don't know, God, the aliens, you tell me. But where it couldn't could not have happened is you couldn't have had the oxygen just uh, being created by these species who were sitting there baking in uh, this vicious uh, hard ultraviolet light. It simply would not work. We have a yellow sun today. It's a little different, and we have an ozone layer. Back then, they just didn't have it. That's another reason there had to have been some sort of intelligent design in our past. I'm sorry. I know that upsets atheists to hear that. But who knows who what it was? What it was? We know so little about our universe. We so know so little about our own planet. That's impossible to say. Until next time, this is Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. And remember that not everything is as it has been explained to you by uh, science.